Let's do another example of the ideal gas law. This time let's solve for temperature. We're given 2.4 moles of carbon dioxide. We know the volume of the container is 50.2 liters. We know the pressure inside the container is 939 millimeters of mercury. What temperature must the carbon dioxide be? Just like last problem, let's check our units before we begin the actual problem. And remember, our units are going to be determined by the ideal gas constant. R equals 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin. I've got moles. That's good. I've got liters. That's good. But I have millimeters of mercury for my pressure. All right, we need to be in atmospheres. So let's start there. Our pressure is 939 millimeters of mercury. So I'm going to want to get that into atmospheres. So one atmosphere is equivalent to 760 millimeters of mercury. That is 1.24 atmospheres. So let's use the ideal gas law. PV equals nRT. Solving for T. So I'm going to take both sides and divide them by N and R. So T is going to equal PV over NR. P we've just found to be 1.24 atmospheres. The volume is given to us as 50.2 liters. The number of moles is 2.4 moles. And R is 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin. Check our work. Atmospheres cancel, liters cancel, moles cancel. I'm left with 1 over 1 over Kelvin, which is the same thing as Kelvin. As I'm solving, I'm making sure again to divide the entire top by the entire bottom of my fraction. And when I look at the calculator, I get 313 Kelvin. And the problem just asks for temperature. It doesn't specify the unit, so that will be totally fine. If you wish to convert it back to Celsius, you would get a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius.